What's, What's up, C-Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. Daddy's son. Kick Talk. Today we're Kick Talking about. About a topic that I think somebody needs to get to the bottom of because I feel like nobody's really talking about this. And what that is, is the problem with Nike and Tom Sachs. Mm. Bruh. Before we get into this topic, Nigel, if it's their first time here, man, what should we do? You need to ring the notification bell. Ring the bell. Because you already know that we come in with some news. And you know you want that news when it's new. Mm. So make sure you just take ring the, the bell, bell new. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> thanks for ringing the bell. Yeah. Stay up with our content. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. We appreciate mm -hmm. the support. Love you all. All right. So Tom Sachs, right? Yes. We're familiar with Tom Sachs, Nike Craft, mm -hmm. his company, collaboration, partnership with Nike, right? Mm -hmm. Tom Sachs has been around, collaborating with Nike since 2012. Uh -huh. And he did the Mars Yard 1, Mars Yard 2. That's been, you know, it was not super, I mean, super easy to get back in the day. Those shoes are worth like, I mean, crazy. Three, four thousand dollars for some of them. People went crazy for them. And are they the hottest shoe ever made? No, but uh -huh. people just want what they want. And the crazy part is like Tom Sachs is a, a designer who outside of Nike, I don't think 99% of us would even know who he is. Because he's an artist, designer, yeah. did his whole does his whole thing, you know, totally separate mm -hmm. from anything. What you know I'm saying I don't know who he is outside of Nike, so I'm 99%. Yo, you were in that myself too. I, you know, prior to Mars Yard and knowing what that is like Tom Sachs, cool name. I don't know who he is, then, you know, doing some research, figure out who he is. But anyway, we're not even here to talk on that level about him. He's done some shoes that have been pretty, you know, well received. He just did the general purpose shoe. And, you know, the things going on now kind of present a problem for me mm -hmm. as a consumer who owns a couple of pair of his shoes. It's like, man, I just really want to wear my shoes in peace. Uh -huh. And I just want these designers, these people working in business that make these things that we buy. Just keep your act together. Get your stuff together. Mm. You know, because I don't know. First, we had. Hold on. Yeah. I need to know what Tom Sachs did. It's coming. It's coming. We're going to get into it. And it's, you know, it's not a little thing. And oh. and I'm going to say this. I'm going to preface it by saying somewhere out there, uh -huh. Kyrie Irving and Kanye West are giving <laughs> Nike a side eye right now. Like, what y'all going to do, Nike? Uh huh. What y'all going to do? So. It's on that Kyrie Kanye level? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And, and even worse, some may say. Worse than the yak? Worse, you know, it's like tomato, tomato. I don't know. I'm not here to score them. They're both, I'll say this, equally uh -huh. bad on my radar, right? Mm. But anyway, got these shoes, and I really do like these shoes. Mm -hmm. They've been purchased, so going forward, I don't know what I'm going to do. But Tom Sachs. Tom right. Sachs. Tom Sachs. He is an artist. He has his studio in New York. And recently, in the last like week, there's been all these allegations coming out from employees, right? Where there's female employees, male employees. I mean, have kind of corroborated stories mm -hmm. of like the working conditions in his studio, how he treats the employees, and all kinds of off the cuff wild things mm. going on in his studio. All right, so what did he do? What you want to know? Yeah. And you guys, if, if you haven't seen this story, it's, it's pretty wild. And again, I feel like Kanye, Kyrie, it was in the news like every day. Mm -hmm. The Tom Sachs stuff I heard maybe a day or two, and then I haven't heard much else I since heard then. nothing. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the one, the first thing that came out was that Tom Sachs called into a Zoom meeting with Nike female employees while wearing his underwear. Like just up in the camera, like straight, just under undies on. I guess, yeah, I guess. And the same employee said that Tom Sachs said he had a type, meaning he joined, he once pointed at the female and telling his toddler, see, this is what we call a shiksa goddess. This is what we call daddy's type. Like he's talking to his kid about some female employee and a shiksa is, a shiksa goddess is like a, He's Jewish, so it's a non-Jewish female, but he called her a goddess. Uh -huh. So, you know, I guess uh, daddy likes her is kind of what he was saying. Twisted, right? To tell your toddler and a female employee, like, look, son, that's a goddess. That's, 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 that's what nasty, daddy likes. Bro. Daddy likes, you know? They had a storage room in his uh, studio uh -huh. that I don't even know if we can say it on YouTube, but it was called the R, begins with the R, ends with an E, room, you know, which was crazy. They called it... <laughs> Renamed, renamed it to the consent room at a point. Also claims of adult video being a repeated subject of discussion in a workplace. Man, it's it's been so much. He had a, you know, like the store, like his first aid kit, uh -huh. like his first aid, you know, kit in the office has the plus on it. Yeah. There was 
pieces added to that to turn that plus into a swastika. And I've seen pictures of that, and we'll put that in the video here. Where And again, he's Jewish, so uh -huh. supposedly he was saying he was trying to take that swastika, swastika and rebrand it. rebrand it, right, so it's not negative on uh -huh. some level. Which you're like, nah. Yeah. I don't know any Jewish people. Like, you know what? I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna flip this swastika <laughs> because you know. Meanwhile, their grandparents, great grandparents. Right. You know, that's a symbol of torment and death and oppression okay. and all of that. So yeah, we talking about. I'm not comparing it to Ye and Kyrie, but. Ali, Nike, you got a problem with your hands. Uh, Another piece he talked about, he said that his employees, he said it was, you know, his job, his, his office is a call. You know, he said, yes, this is a call. Uh -huh. And he had, employees had to wear like their little like- Oh, he was on some cold lights. They had like uniform oh. every day with their name tags. Uh -huh. He would yell at them if they, you know, set up travel for him and then make sure it was first class plane tickets with the seats that reclined all the way back. Like he would yell at them, curse oh, at them. Right, yeah, like for real. For real. He, some employee said he threw some piece of metal at them across the room. There was another incident where they would say they would go running as a group and they outside in like their uniforms. They'd have to run and people would see them and they you all know, dressed alike, the whole thing. And they couldn't talk to other people. Like people would say things to them. They couldn't speak to other people. Just like, wow, man. Wow, wow, control. He would, you know, definitely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's some crazy, like, control this stuff. Like, these, like, yeah. employees. Yeah. And they didn't want to lose their job, I guess for fear of, you know, getting fired or whatever. They didn't so say anything. Weird. And he would, you know, definitely talk about the females and, you know, talk about how he liked them. And they were all, you know, they had to be a certain type. They were all somewhat attractive. It was just, it was a lot of things I read about it. There was a piece where he said they had adult pictures on the office walls and all kinds of things. And, you know, talking about he was into VR adult content and the types of content he liked to watch. So just, again, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this one time. I feel like a lot of these celebrities and artists and designers, I think all of them sometimes just need a punch in the mouth. <laughs> like really, like what is your deal? Like they need somebody, right. like a common sense man, mm -hmm. a common sense person, you know, you somebody to just check you. <laughs> like you tripping, yeah. right? You're right. rich, you got influence, right. but you need that one guy that's there in your circle mm -hmm. to just be like, dude, bah, get, it, right, get, get it together. Bro. Cause it just doesn't make sense. So it's it's nuts, man. And I'm like, I don't understand how these people stayed there, you know, through whatever they stayed through. But, you know, luckily somebody's speaking out. Because he definitely has some against him, too. Like, yeah, probably wasn't even bad. Probably like a picture or something. You saying they got pictures of... Adults pictures around, the swastika. Right, like this. All the things he's throwing, like metal objects at people across the room. Somebody said, you know, that somebody said they told the person that, you know, hey, he threw this metal thing over my direction. And they were like, well, luckily he didn't throw it at you and hit you. You know, they were like, well, that's not so bad. I was like, wow. Mm. But the plot thickened. So we'll just talk it about. Thickened. Not thickened. That's a thick <laughs> enough plot. Yeah. So again, my question, Nike, what does Nike do, right? Here's the official statement from Nike in the last, like, Week since this all came out. Mm -hmm. Nike said, we're deeply concerned by the very serious allegation. We're in contact with Tom and his studio, seeking to better understand the situation and how these issues are being addressed. Now, I remember Kyrie's situation. Mm -hmm. They were like suspended indefinitely, partnership done. Mm -hmm. It was like two seconds, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, of course, you know, Kanye, his whole thing was with Adidas. That's a separate company. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he worked with Nike in the past. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just when they did the Kyrie thing, it was like, all these types of like my these types of statements, anything anti-Semitic, anything non-inclusive, whatever, will not be tolerated. Mm -hmm. And it was just like they cut off the, you know, mm -hmm. cut it off. Like it was yeah. a cancer spread. Yeah. And this we're contacting the studio to understand the situation and how these issues are being addressed. I mean, a swastika. Sexual this, naked that. Oh, that was another. He walked around the office naked at points too. So yeah, what's good with this dude though, not for real. Like actually, bro. yeah, there's some, there's <laughs> some definitely some, some mental things going yeah. on. I mean, he makes a dope shoe. I mean, I like this shoe. I don't even like those shoes. It's not the greatest shoe of all time. time. I don't even like them shoes. Bro. But I dig, I do <laughs> dig them. I do dig them. So then again. <laughs> We're going to see how Nike reacts in this situation. What happens with Tom Sachs and that partnership? You know, people ask me like, so you going to wear the shoes now? I'm like, I mean, I've already purchased the shoes. <laughs> They're mine at this point. Yeah. I'm not going to get probably any more of his product, mm -hmm. not with all not, of the wildness yeah. that's happened. But, you know, if I didn't have him, I probably wouldn't buy him at this point. So what do y'all think about this situation? Is this something that you just want to see how it all plays out? Are you done with Tom Sachs? Should Nike be done? 
you know, in that partnership. Yeah. I think that's what you think. I think so. <laughs> Pretty much. Personally. If I did any of that at my job, I'd be fired God, in about right. two seconds, right? Uh -huh. Or if I had a business and that happened, I'd be in court, mm -hmm. you know, and my right. business would be getting shut down. So, you know, we'll see if the, the same rules apply for Mr. Sachs and yeah. his, his organization, his situation. So, Crazy. just wanted to bring that out there, man. And again, where is this in the news cycle? In sneaker news, just in the news in general, right? So, I'm curious. Want to know what's up? Let me know y'all take. Hit me on Instagram too at Real Daddy C, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Hopefully for a better story. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.